Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today's video, since it's Memorial Day weekend, I'm going to show you how I make some ribs. Um, I got the boneless ribs, pork ribs, beef ribs, whatever you want. I use pork. Alright, this package is the weirdest fucking package I've ever bought. But yeah, that's what they look like. It's like the grossest packaging I've ever bought in my life at Walmart. Good lord. Go wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Alright. You okay? Yeah. Okay, so to prep these, I put in some brown sugar. And we're going to mix that up. Be generous with it. These look really good. Batman, be nice to the kitties. Don't throw this away. We're going to add it to baked beans. Alright. And we're going to put these bad boys on the grill. Okay, for a quick and simple, easy baked bean, I use uh, the canned pork and beans. So, you do that. Two cans of those. Put it in your casserole dish. Your leftover brown sugar and mesquite smoky barbecue rub there <clears throat> you can add more brown sugar if you want but it's usually a good amount left over from the pork rub but it just kind of blends right in. Alright. I'm going to add a little bit of liquid smoke to the baked beans and then put some more on the pork. Not very much of this shit. It goes a long way. And then we're going to use some open pit barbecue sauce. Just a little bit 
because you're going to add most of it to your uh, your ribs outside. About a tablespoon and about a teaspoon of the liquid smoke. Now I'm going to add more minced onion to my baked beans. Or you can just chop up an onion and throw it in there too. About a tablespoon of that too. And then a dash of garlic powder in our baked beans. Because I like garlic. All right, we're gonna mix all that up and stick it in the oven until thoroughly cooked. Because ribs and beans go good together. And I'm also cooking my homemade mac and cheese. See the other video for that. Same recipe. Yeah. Right, we're gonna put these in the oven and grill up some ribs. All right, so you wanna use charcoal instant light. Let the fire burn all the way out till you get these white hot coals. Spread them out evenly in a nice thin layer. Then lay your foiled grill top on and let it get hot for a minute. We're ready to grill. You want to hear that nice sizzle when you put them on there. All right, we're going to barbecue half of them. But first, we're going to put some liquid smoke on. Shut it and let them cook. I already took the ones that are done inside, but yeah, these look really amazing. So thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please uh, subscribe and share with your friends and join us next time. Stay spooky, friends.